I moved to this end, this area, I should say, maybe about two years ago. Um, we were new here, so as a way to immaculate ourselves with the program and with the community was to go to the programs. Uh, we started out with going to the programs. The kids made many friends, learned new skills, and I thought, hey, other people might want to know about this. Mm -hmm. um, shortly after I got my grandkids, about five to six years ago. At least, at least 19 years. I had four children, and I didn't have no help. And soon they open, I find out they will help people. They opened the center and I asked for help. Um, I think just basically from me coming and spreading the word, they saw that I, there was an interest for me and that maybe I could be uh, a voice or help a helpful tool to get more people to come. And so they started giving me more leadership roles and starting me to invite more and uh, do more things for the community. My life has improved since I got involved with the center because before that, I was a homie, never going out just to, to do my what I my regular stuff. wasn't involved with anybody. I feel more alive now since I've been with the center. So my kids, they grow up, and they're all old, and they're big, and they like I still need help, but not like as before. So I decided to come and ask them if they need any help. It's very rewarding. It's rewarding to know that people trust me in that role. It's rewarding to know that people look up to me, people come to me for information. Uh, it's rewarding to put on different programs. It's not just one thing. We're doing different things for the community. We're supplying resources. We're supplying information. Um, a way for people to just get out of their houses and maybe even for them to see if I can do it, they can do it. Right. The kids really, really enjoy the programs. It gives me some quiet time for myself. Also, uh, the center has been there for me and the kids from day one. I volunteer at the center because it makes me feel good. The center is helping me to achieve um, the leadership roles by um, standing behind me listening to my ideas. I think five years I've been uh, doing volunteer, burning food, um, burning some canned goods and some other stuff. And um, um, this, uh, and I, I, I think for the longest time I want to help and I want to volunteer because the center needs help not just from me, from everybody. I think my first thought would be introducing them to the people who run the center, who's in charge, um, what their roles are, and I would ask them, what are they interested in? And so we connect the person with the program that fits them and kind of get them introduced to it that way, and I'd advise them to know, come out, volunteer. Yeah. You know? But um. Yeah, I guess if you want to know how things function and if you want to make a change in, in the world, in life, um, you should really put yourself out there. Get your foot in the door. Try something new. It never hurts to try. It's very important to help the center because they're helping others and they're always there for other people in any situation. Bad one, good one. My, hu my house burned down. They brought everything for me and uh, without them, I was really, really in bad situation and I had very bad timing when my house burned down. But I did not stop my volunteer work, but I really love it. I love the help and I love to see the pressures on people's faces when you help them, how kind they are and how pleased they are. And anybody uh, should help here or there or anywhere because the center need help because they're helping others with everything and uh, that's it.